In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to find a good hairdresser. Welcome back to Crystal Beauty TV, where I teach you the fundamentals so you can make better beauty care decisions. My first piece of advice is to look at social media in your area. You can look up like hashtag your city hairstylist or hashtag your city salon. This can help you find stylists or salons in your area that have a social media presence. And what's good about that is you can see the work that they do. If it's a salon account, a lot of times they'll have either in the description or on like a corner of the picture which of their stylists did that specific hair. This is good because you can see who's capable of creating the look that you want. There may be a stylist that your friends heavily recommend because they all love balayage and she's really good at it, that stylist. But if you're looking for like crazy unicorn rainbow hair, that would be awesome. She might not be the best option. She could do a good job. But if you don't see a bunch of that work on there, you don't really know what you're gonna get. So look for pictures of someone that can produce the work, like the cut, the color, the blowout, whatever that you're looking for. Of course, like I've talked about in other videos, you need to be careful looking on social media because there are people who heavily Photoshop their pictures. It might look like a bright white blonde, but then you look at their shirt in the background and everything's just like super bright and like kind of gray on the black shirt. It's like they probably brightened the image and her hair's not actually that bright. The next piece of advice is just to look around. Like if you have a coworker or a friend or family member who always has their hair looking really nice and you like that style, just ask them where they go get their hair done and who does it. You can even do this at the grocery store. Like, oh, I love your hair. Where do you get it done? Like, that's not a totally weird question. Usually people are like, oh, thank you. I'm glad you think my hair looks nice. So it's not super awkward. If you're really worried about getting somebody new and inexperienced, ask for a master stylist. I'm not saying new stylists can't do great work. I'm just saying, if you really want to make sure you're getting somebody really good, as for master stylists, they have higher prices for a reason because people are happy with them and they're in high demand. So the second part of that advice is be willing to pay more. If you're one of those people that says, oh, I never get a good haircut, but you're only paying like 10 to $15, that might be why those places that charge 10 to $15 are either like schools or chop shops where their goal is to get you in and out of there faster and get some other paying customer in their seat get as many people as they can in a day. Really quick, leave a comment below letting me know how you found your current stylist. These last two pieces of advice pertain more to when you're actually in the stylist chair at the beginning of the appointment or if you're messaging them on social media beforehand. You really want somebody who's gonna manage your expectations. They're not gonna 100% promise to deliver exactly what's in that picture. Stylists or salons will get messages like, how much for this haircut? Or can you do this hair color? And it's like, I don't know what hair are you starting with? Like haircuts are usually at a set price, but a color especially, it's like, can you get me to this bright blonde balayage? It's like, well, where's your hair now? I don't know. So if they're just like, oh yeah, I can totally do that. That's a red flag. Some stylists will say, oh yeah, I can do that because they want to get a client. They want to get you in a chair and they're going to do their best to get you there. But a really comfortable stylist is going to say, well, I don't know. Like we need to go over this and this and I need to see your hair in person. And a lot of times blonding is a process like if you have darker hair and it's not already bright blonde we're gonna have to take a few appointments and take our time and it's gonna take some money they can't just promise oh yeah i'm definitely gonna get you there today so whether it's messaging on social media or when you sit down in their chair and you say can you do this and they're like oh yeah 100 percent i mean there may be some cases where they're very confident about the result that they can promise you but generally they should like take more time to explain things to you and manage your expectations. You really want somebody who's gonna take the time with you to have a consultation in the beginning of the appointment before they start doing anything to your hair. If you sit in somebody's chair and say, I wanna bob to here, and they're just like, all right, cool. And then they start getting to work, like they need to be asking, do you want layers? Do you want more texturizing? Do you want the ends really blunt or you want it a little more blended, blah, 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 blah. They should be asking what you want so you get what you want. Alrighty, those are my six tips for how to increase your odds of finding a good hairstylist. And just remember, a good hairstylist for you may not be a good hairstylist for another person and vice versa. Keep that in mind. If you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button if you want more of the same content and let me know what you'd like to know. I'll see you next time.